Oh, do you want to talk or is it, you want me to open this up to the public comment? No, we want to hear Clyden. Who was that? Who was that for the Bunch of good looking people there. <laughs> you know, you look pretty good up there on that uh, picket line, too. In there. In there. You know, I stand before you uh, quite humble tonight. Um, I, I definitely haven't been the one to want to strike the match to this thing, but I've been fighting it for a lot of years. And uh, it's not about my cows, I'll tell you that much. It's about freedom and liberty and our Constitution and our state sovereignty and our Nevada laws and our access to our public land. And above all, it's about our policing power. Who has our policing power today? Uh, you know, I can call 911 right now and they wouldn't respond. We did today and they didn't respond. I said I could call right now and it wouldn't respond. Uh, I could uh, call a, a highway patrol over. My daughters and sons have tried to have assistance from the highway patrol while they're sitting only 100 foot away. One time there's three highway patrols. And guess what they see when, when they get my boy down and start uh, running the gravel into his uh, head with their knees and their feet. Guess what the highway patrols did? No, they did do something. They turned their cars around and left. That's what they did. Pansies? No, it's not pansies. They're bought off somehow with their, their who's their boss? So yeah, the governor. Yeah, the governor of Nevada's their boss. I wonder why he don't have some authority and uh, make a little bit of a stand here for we the people of Clark County. That's a good question, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we're, we're worrying about the federal government taking my cows. Is that our problem? No. No, no it's not our problem. They're, we don't even have to pay much attention to them. But where our problem is, is right here at home. I wonder where our uh, Clark County Sheriff Douglas Gillespie, Gillespie's been in the last few days. Vacation. Well, I don't know that. No, I I went and visited him a couple of days ago, and he was in a nice place of shoppers. I had some pretty nice secretaries uh, escort me in there. But you know where I found him? I found him hiding under the table. No, he wasn't. He was hiding under the table, and he'd become zero, zero, zero in my eyes. But he is the man that has constitutional jurisdiction and authority. He has a policing power here in Clark County, Nevada, and he has arresting power. So, we elected him, and we paid him, we pay him. What did we pay him to do? Don't we pay him to protect our life, liberty, and property? Is that what you guys elected him for? Is that what you do, do with your money, is pay him? Yes. What, what are you paying for? Okay, am I right? We, we elected him and pay him to protect our life, liberty, and property. Now I think, in my case, my life is threatened when I can't call 911. And I have no, uh, 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 Metro will not come if I call them, or if I ask them. That seems to be my life threatened. My liberty is threatened when they lock, my, lock me away from my land and my property and I can't care for my cows. How, what was it, life, liberty, and property? They stole my property. Around 300 head of cattle. And right now, them cattle could be moving across to Nevada 
And across the United States somewhere, I had the reports that there's like 130 something head of cattle sold in uh, Colorado today. I don't know, it's all sort of rumor. But I'm not the one that needs to worry about rumor, isn't that? Should that be the sheriff's problem and the brand inspector problem in the state of Nevada and our governor's problem? They they stole them. They stole them in Clark County, Nevada. Let me talk to you a little bit about our, our state of Nevada, our great state of Nevada. This this land, this issue has been going forward for years. Two years ago, it went forward. It's went, I've been in the courts of law for uh, two years, and now they've, they've made another move on. And let me tell you how many times the Department of Agriculture, I feel like I am a, a, a legitimate producer. I harvest this desert and turn it into food for you. That's my job, that's what I do. And when we uh, elect a governor and a, a Department of Agriculture, their oath is to sustain li uh, agriculture and protect it. And we pay the brand inspectors and stuff. The only reason we have the brand inspection system is to keep thieves from stealing. Other than that, there'd be no reason for a brand inspector. Why would we want to inspect our cattle, move around all the trouble we go through to get brand inspections? If it wasn't because we were trying to keep thieves from stealing property. And yet, get back to where I was. In the last two, three years, I have never received one correspondence from the agriculture department, brand department. But I will take that back. And it just seems a little bit odd. I don't know why, but it seems just a little bit odd. Clyman Bundy has had the only rabies case in cattle west of Texas in the last 10 years. Uh, isn't it, isn't it, Nevada's, uh, because if you go further than that, it's the only recorded case in the history of Nevada. How did it get here? Well, I don't know, but let me tell you, I did get a, 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 a quarantine on these 105 head of cattle for six months by the state Nevada Agriculture Department. And that cost me probably around $50,000 the time I fed them and took the loss. You know, I didn't, I didn't get, you guys don't even know about it. You know why? Because I didn't report it. I'm guaranteed the agriculture department didn't report it. But anyway, that's just one of my little problems. But hey, I had other problems. Guess what? I had rabies. <laughs> and I went through that system and them shots ever, uh, Three days double and you know on and on and on. So I, you know, so be careful. I might bite somebody and I... <laughs> you know about all I have to say to you is um, I love you people and I love this land and I love freedom and liberty and I love this state of Nevada, this sovereign state of Nevada. And nobody can tell me the United States owns this land. I know without a doubt that our Constitution did not provide for anything like the federal government owning this land. And so when I pay my grazing fees, if I owe any grazing fees, I will sure pay it to the right landlord, and that would be Clark County, Nevada. Questions for Cliven, or do we want to start public comment? I got one. Just a question. Yeah, how do they transport your cows or the brand inspector without your signature on that or the or the 
owner of that brand cow. I, I don't understand that. I thought that was a requirement. Well, I got one answer that when do when they pretend, pretend or even pretend to follow Nevada law? Right, but isn't that the law? Well, yeah, it's not. If I don't have my signature on there, it's not a legitimate uh, certificate. How can they have the right to come and do this by a, a, a judge's order without you having first your opportunity in court before a jury of your peers? Uh, what, what kind of conflict of interest is it of a federal judge who's on a federal payroll to make that decision without you having your constitutional right before a jury of your peers, Clavin? Uh, you know, you probably all heard hear me talk, like the same old story over and over on the radio and TV. Um, and I don't want to go through all of that, but ask me that question, the first one. <laughs> See how sharp my mind is? I might be losing it. Which one, about the brand or his? No, his. I, I say, why can they do all of these procedures they're doing oh. right now before you had your opportunity yeah, to work for your peer? Yeah, I want to make comment on that. Okay, one thing you got to understand that I'm a little different than most ranchers in the country. Why am I different? Because I have no contract with the United States government. And a lot of people have said, you don't have a permit, you don't have this, you don't have that, you don't have no right out on this land, you're just a trespasser, you're not paying your fees, you're all right. But I'm telling you one thing, I'm smart enough to know that if you have a contract with someone, that, that's, that's a good reason to be in court. And if you have a contract in the United States, you're going to end up in the United States uh, at court. So I have no contract in the United States, in the, with the United States. Now remember what I told you about uh, who owns this land? Who owns this land? We do. Who are you? Clark County. Okay, you're the citizens of Clark County, Nevada. You own this land. This is your public land. And so I asked the question, here tonight, is the United States government trespassing on your land? Yes. Okay, let's ask the question again. Is Clive and Bundy trespassing on your land? No. Did we take a vote there? This is this <laughs> sound like a democracy. I want to tell you about democracy for a minute, if you don't mind listening to me. Uh, you know, there was a a horse thing. Well, let's don't call him a horse. Let's tell him he said he stole the horse. But anyway, downtown, Overton here, they, they stole it. Somebody stole the horse. And they found that guy and they brought him up to the big tree up in his cottonwood tree up in the town. And uh, they got over there and they got talking and somebody says, hang him. And then somebody says, let's vote on hanging him. Everybody voted. Hang him, hang him. And so, uh, they got the rope around his neck and they pulled up there under the tree and they had him on the horse and they got that rope tight and they're about ready to kick that horse out from under this man. And along came, come the county sheriff and he said, hey boys, you better hold it right there, hold it still right there. Because he said, if you hang that man, I will hang every one of you. He said, you better get him cut down real easy. He says, that man, I'll, I'll take him to the, my jail, and I'll put him in that jail, and he's uh, going to have his day in court, like the Constitution of the United States says he should have, and we'll have a jury, and we'll decide if, we, if he's guilty or not. Now, let me tell you the difference here. The democracy was you guys that hollered, all hollered, hey! But the republic form of the government said he will have his day in court and then we'll decide if he's guilty. Right now, this man's not guilty. You better not hang him because you will hang. And that, the sheriff was right. He was exercising our republic form of government. Thank you, guys.